Hi, how are you Vapor here? This time I'm reviewing the Wizmec. This kit uh, is with the Armour Plus 3.8mm tank and the Wizmec Cressa 75 watt temperature control mod. Uh, it's really great. Loads of vape there, I'm only set for 28 watts. Um, these are the lovely little boxes they came in. There's some details on the back there. I hope you can see them. Yeah, it's a great mod. It comes with four four coils the tank comes with. One already installed, which is the Kanga, well, sorry, the Canthal. Got to get that right. Um, 0.3 ohm atomizer. And that's what I've got in there at the moment. And with the combination of these juice holes here, these are massive. Uh, where the coil cotton on the coil bit is exposed, it absorbs loads of juice. I'm getting more flavour than I did off my other cancel coils. And it's mainly because the thing is, it gets through loads of juice. Uh, this is my second tank just today. So it's a bit crazy. Um, but we dive down into the box contents in this in a moment. Um, one thing I didn't go through on there was how to change the bits on here. So press that three times and it starts flashing. And you press this one on the right and you can scroll through bypass mode, nickel, titanium or temperature control. Um, generally to change it is up and down and it changes pretty fast as you'll see in the unboxing and putting together um, yeah the bottom part you can change to a battery or I've got it on puff counter um, yeah it's nice it's small and I haven't got to fiddle around where's that button you know with the other the other tank that I've got this is the other one um, you know I've got there's the button you know stuff like that I mean, it's not majorly difficult, but this one, presser, you can literally squeeze it halfway down. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, when it's in your pocket or somewhere you want to keep top it, you just flick the lock switch and you need to get it properly and you can't press it. So it's, it's safe that way. Um, so what I'll do after the video is come back and do the pros and cons and have a couple more vapes. All right, guys, the Wizmec presser. So there it is, small device. Compared to my first box mod, it's actually still smaller. Curved, and you can just squeeze on that. I'll view that later. Inside there, we've got the Wizmec little manual thing and the charger lead and that looks like quite a hefty little one there yeah it's a mini so that's a nice cable then black sleek mic all matching i didn't expect this but it comes with an adapter that lets you put in uh, a smaller clear miser ones that come with the you know the e6 so you can screw one on the top of it over Interesting option there. Of course. It has a name on the top and the name on the side there. And also the Joytech battery. So Joytech and Wizmec, is, is, is some of you may or not know, are kind of um, working together as such. So there's a battery, 2100mAh for this, a 30 amp. So, yeah, not a bad spec. Quite interesting that it's 
lowest 210 yet at 30 amp. Uh, these are Sony, so these, these are ready quite well. So, great, means I can get powered up. And then the tank. Now this is good, this is this kit all came together, okay? And, um, so for a kit they come together, and then I get the tank, this is the Armour Plus, which has come with three coils, and then an RBA build there. The coil that comes in the tank is the Cantor 0.3 ohm. So there's one of the coils, <clears throat> one with the blue o-ring is called, the blue gasket is called a nickel at 0 0.15 ohms. Then we've got the RBA, and that's uh, a horizontal coil going across. And then we've got the titanium at half an ohm. And there and those are all vertical builds, that and the nickel, both vertical builds. And then there's the Armour Plus, which I already have the um, a top filter. Which have started using this twistable option which then closes the holes that go to the coil which prevents leaking and allows you to fill up and keeps it away from the bottom see the thing is my other the uh, mod i had before both my mods that i had before this one so you just turn it, it automatically rotates and that's something I think they should all start be able to come with. I mean this one actually doesn't really need to rotate because it's, um, cause it's vertical anyway, left or right, you know. To swip it, flip it and have it upside down is a bit of a strange way to have it. So there are more settings to this. Key lock. Now it's unlocked. Got that back. Stealth on. That turns the screen off. Stealth off. Okay, let's go and uh, do the tank. So the tank's already got a coil in there. Then I need to change this. This now this this it turns and it locks in. It clicks. That's good. My other one with the Pegasus. It, it that's tight, you know. It's really quite hard to turn, and even when you do turn it, it uh, it doesn't click in. So when I when I saw that on the video that the armor has got an easier turn, that's one of the things that interested me. Now I was now I believe, which I also am interested in, is coloured O rings. So I've been told this comes with, here we go, coloured O-rings. And you also get your cotton there and some 0.5 ohm coil. Now someone said this was cancel. Looking at it, I can't tell whether that's cancel but or stainless steel or what, but uh if you look in the description, anything I've missed will be added below, or I'll put text over the top. I mean, there's a little manual in here that tells you all the parts, and this can be taken apart, this tank. Everything will unscrew and slide off. 
and then obviously about the filling. Doesn't tell me what the um, what these are. I'm you know I'm supposed to know myself, am I? Um, so this is why you look at the videos like mine, because then my the details will be there. Welcome back. I hope that was uh, you know some good details there. It tastes gorgeous and I've actually switched to the Triton tank the Triton 2 it's basically because that doesn't well unless this juice uses more um, hopefully this tank will use less I'll see how it goes um, the flavor on the Armour tank is spot on um, this actually tastes a bit better now I think I might have had something else mixed in with that really really nice juice from Wismec there the ice menthol or menthol ice I love it This is firmware updatable. Um, I'm not sure uh, what version's on here at the moment. I think it's version three. Um, and, you know, when it comes to updating this, uh, if there's anything that needs to be done, I'll do a video for that. So like if this video has been helpful and subscribe for future updates, thank you. I think the RMR is giving a bit more than that. Um, both really nice products with the option to close the tank off the top. And I've thought about that and you can turn upside down. It won't drip out because it's closed. You can balance it on the drip tip. Yeah, really nice.